High in the Colorado Rocky Mountains, in the town of Leadville, is the historic Tabor Opera House. I love this place because it is the remnants of the old Wild West mining days of Leadville. And it is a historic gem. Mining magnate Horace Tabor built this opera house in 1879 in one of the rowdiest silver boom towns in Colorado. Tabor felt this remote and rough mining town needed some refinement. The Tabor name can be found on many buildings of historical significance throughout Colorado, but they are most famous for the love triangle between Horace his wife Augusta, and second wife Elizabeth, better known as Baby Doe. But that story is a whole video in itself. Amongst the bars and brothels, the Tabor Opera House stood for civilization, art, and culture. Fun fact, the opening night ticket sales were disappointing because they were in competition with a hanging across the street. Many famous performers have graced the Tabor stage, such as Oscar Wilde and Buffalo Bill Cody. Even live tigers as part of a circus act graced the stage. And allegedly, the Tabor had the trap door at the center stage cut just for Harry Houdini. In 2020, historic stage scenery was discovered in the Tabor's attic. The drop curtains and sets date back to 1888 and 1902. Sets that date back to 1879 were also found in the attic, but they were not on display at the time of our visit. The Opera House is open for guided tours during the summer months, but are only available certain days of the week. The tours are offered in English and in Spanish, and tickets can be purchased ahead of time online. Decades of high altitude living have taken a toll on the Tabor. During our visit, we witnessed the great efforts that are underway to revitalize this historic treasure. 